from WHBL.com, Apple strikes a new chord in the future of music. More than a decade ago, the late Steve Jobs pulled one of his trademark reality distorting maneuvers, browbeating music label executives into selling songs on Apple's then nascent iTunes digital store for a mere 99 cents apiece. Now the tables have turned and it's Apple that is being forced into a deal that is far from a surefire winner. The iPod and iPhone maker is expected to announce as early as this week a $3.2 billion agreement to buy Beats Electronics, the music streaming service and headphone maker founded by legendary music producer Jimmy Lovine and rapper Dr. Dre, according to three sources familiar with Apple's thinking. The deal could come after Pandora Media and Spotify have already claimed the vanguard of the music streaming revolution while Apple's repost, the eight-month-old iTunes radio, is stumbling. Yeah, I... I'm a huge Apple user here, and I do not use, I just, iTunes Radio just does not, I just don't use it. Uh, Spotify? Yes. Pandora? Absolutely. Um, but, no. So, uh, at any rate, Apple's about two years late behind Spotify, said David Pakman, a digital music investor with Venrock Capital and a co-creator of Apple's music group. They really need a streaming offering. So this is probably, uh, you know, we, we talked about this uh, in a previous news clips episode. This is probably, you know, Apple trying to acquire a couple of different pieces of technology at the same time. They're getting great headphone manufacturer. You know, they're definitely not top end, but they're good enough. And they're getting some streaming uh, services. So it should be interesting to see what happens.